is the forest. Now what? Hades told us the dead would point to war. They need to be shut down! Dead? Not pointing anywhere. I've been waiting for you. Who are you? I am Lilera, and you are Brasidas. General, conqueror, hero. Hades sent me to find you. So you finally come to reunite me with my love. Charon carried us along the river, but we got separated. Bring my love to me, and I'll tell you all I know. Where must I go? Between the sulfuric pools and the village of the condemned, there is a cave. My love lies within. This task is mine. I will go. So... Uh... Been here long? I'll tell you all. If Vrasidas succeeds... What do you mean, if? The weight of the past can be a much heavier burden to carry than we realize. I should go find him. He might need my help.
There you are. What's wrong? What is this place? The cradle of the underworld. Little ones who die too soon are kept here. The dead cannot enter. The dead can't enter, eh? Well, let's see about the living. spotted here. Where is that crying coming from?
you find? Ashes. Her love was her baby. Why would Hades have you return the ashes of a woman's child? I don't know.
What did you do to him? The past was too much for him to bear. Brasidas, talk to me. I... can't. Please. I know you suffered. Still suffer. Tell me what happened, and we'll leave you alone. We were a quiet village before the Spartans came. My husband was no warrior. He looked Athenian. Our land was occupied by Athens. Our men were friends, supplied with armor and weapons in case of invasion. We never thought that they would come. When the battle was over, Spartans flooded the village, drunk on victory and blood. They torched our homes. Your husband attacked me in the street. He was protecting his people, his family. But Brasidas butchered my husband. And when I tried to protect him, he tossed me aside. <laughs> my love didn't survive the fall. I didn't know. And so we named him Brasidas the Butcher. He massacred my people and took everything from me. I found my husband's sword and ended the pain. Is this true? I don't know what happened. War is chaos. If you want to point fingers, point them at Ares. The god of war didn't run his sword through my husband. Didn't throw me and my child to the ground. Brasidas the Butcher did. Come, Brasidas. There is nothing more to be done here. Honor the gods. Honor Sparta. Keep your oaths, and Elysium is yours. I made an oath to protect the innocent, and I broke it. Still feel you deserve to walk the fields of paradise, butcher? Don't call him that. Why not? That woman's entire village does. What's left of it anyways? You Spartans. Really know how to torch a village. You never answered my question. Say the word, and Elysium is yours. Help me, Alexios. I... I don't know what to do. Brasidas, you're a friend like no other. You lived and died with honor to the gods and to Sparta. And you kept all your oaths to me. If anyone deserves to walk the fields of Elysium, it's you. I lived by a code of honor. And now in death, I've done what you've asked. I will go to Elysium. Ah, yes. Your father's code. What was it? Honor the gods. Honor Sparta. Blah, blah, blah. <sighs> I did everything in my power to prove you failed to live up to that code, but I suppose someone helped to convince you otherwise. Your decision's been made. The fields of Elysium are yours. But know this. 
I never make a mistake. You'll be the only one in Elysium who doesn't belong there. The moment these ashes leave your hands is the moment you'll find yourself in Tartarus forever. Now say goodbye. I suppose not all Spartans are as predictable as you thought. brought the woman to the pyre. <sighs> I like having an assistant. If only you were dead, you could stay forever. Unfortunately, not my plan. Such is life. Hmm? And death. On to the next lost souls. A family devastated by war wanders without refuge. I know how it feels to lose a home. Yes, you all have sad stories to tell. At least most who come here are dead now. I think I would still be sad if I was dead. The suffering you fleshlings inflict on each other never ceases to astound me. And that's why we are helping all the lost we can. You're right. They deserve to have somewhere safe to stay. Please don't hurt us! Leave us alone! Stay back! I know how to fight. I'm not here to hurt you. Then what do you want? I've come to take you away from this place. Take you somewhere safe. Why would you help us? <sighs> There's no time. The hounds of Hades are coming. And when they find you... I can't let my family suffer here anymore. All right. What's your plan? There has to be somewhere nearby where you'd be safe. There's a cave not too far from here that could provide some shelter. It didn't look very inviting, but it's better than here. Anywhere else? There was also an abandoned camp. It would be ideal if not for all the strange creatures in the area. It could be dangerous. We should go to the cave. Stay close. <laughs>
I hear something. We need to hurry. We're too exposed out here. Stay behind me. I should be extra careful in this area. What's going on here? A disaster! Can't I just have a normal day of ferrying the dead? <sighs> Tell me what happened. All of these souls have had their coins stolen. Assistant, you have to find the thief and get the coins back so the dead can cross the sticks. Why don't you just let them through? <sighs> I know you're new around here, but that's not really how we do things in the underworld. Besides, Hades would burn me one toe at a time if I did. All right. I'll find the coin thief. You hear that, everyone? My assistant will find the coin thief. Why would anyone want to rob the dead? Isn't it obvious? The coins are used to pay me for passage across the sticks into the underworld. Do you suspect anyone here already? So many pass through, and honestly, you all look the same to me. Come on, think. Well, there was a merchant and a politician who acted strangely. They were the only ones not storming my dock. 
I'll come back when I have news. I'd start looking in the Passage of Souls. It's where the first coins went missing. Good luck. With all the thieves in the underworld, I'll need it. They'll be watching for me. I need to be careful. Looks like someone buried something there <laughs> and then came back for it. Must have been in a hurry. Empty coin purses. The strings have been cut. Old bracelet, but it's broken. Must have snapped when its owner was digging. How am I supposed to find anything in this dirty, horrible wasteland? You must be looking for your stolen coins. How do you know? Maybe you're the criminal who came to admire their handiwork. I'm looking for the thief too, but I won't help with that attitude. Fine. I found nothing here myself anyway. You must remember when you last had your coins. Of course I remember. I was walking through the valley with the rest and struck up conversation with a merchant. So arrogant. Still wearing his jewels and gold. Won't do much for him here. <laughs> when I reached the docks, they were gone. Did anything catch your attention? The merchant I spoke to seemed nervous. He asked if we really had to pay the ferryman. Perhaps his coins were already stolen? I think I've got what I need. You don't look like the usual people I see passing through here. I'm not dead, if that's what you mean. I'm searching for something. Makes two of us. I'm looking for the coins I lost. Uh, they must be around here somewhere. Think of when you last had them. I remember wandering with the crowd of other people. We were all moving towards the dock. I don't remember where we came from. But as we reached this place, the crowd halted as a man, a politician, I think, got up and addressed us. Where were you when you realized your coins were missing? At the dock. I was going to pay the ferryman when I discovered they were gone. Did you see anything strange during your travels? Mm. Only the politician. He was moving away from the docks, while everyone else was moving toward them. I have to go. Good luck in your search.
Any news of my coins? I found this dagger. Remind you of anything? Aha! That's what I felt. It nicked me when they cut the strings of my purse. So did you see who did it? No, I was too focused on the politician addressing the crowd. Captivating man. I think I've got what I need. The witness was cut while the politician was speaking to the crowd. Come on. Finally. I was starting to worry you'd got lost. I didn't think your kind were capable of worrying. There are many things you don't know about us. Like how impatient we are. Have we discovered who stole the coins? So, the dead were robbed while a politician gave a speech. One witness thought he looked suspicious because he was wandering through the crowd, away from the docks. Ah, yes. Even I noticed him. But a rich merchant was asking about paying the toll. I found a nice dagger that must have cut the coins out. And I found a gold bracelet near the hole that hid the coins. The plot thickens. It was the merchant. He stole the coins. A greedy merchant. Typical. Come, let us deal with him and be done with this. So you are the one who took the coins from his people. This is nonsense. No one should have to pay to enter the underworld. Spare me your platitudes. You stole because you're greedy. These people had nothing in life. They need nothing in death. If I can't live a comfortable life, nobody should. Hades, so nice to see you. Whatever brings you to my shore? I could hear this ruckus from the bowels of Tartarus. What is happening here? This man stole coins from the dead and then threw them into the river Styx. Mortals always seem to find new ways to surprise me. I'm glad you're finding this funny, but these people had coins for fair passage and now they don't. If they do not have coins, they cannot cross into my realm. That is the law, Aron. They were sent here with the coins as law and tradition state. They deserve to be granted passage. Why don't we let our friend here decide their fate? These people were robbed of their chance for peace. They deserve passage. Well said, Alexios. They will be granted passage to the underworld. And what of him? Feed him to your hounds. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs> Sometimes we have to make difficult choices. To be able to do so confidently. Is a rare trait in your kind. I've done it before. I'll have to do it again. For such a hopeless fleshling, you've come a long way. Now that Hades is gone, there's something you should have. Thank you, Aaron. It's a shame you have to go. You've been a good assistant. I hope you find the answers you seek.
to fight a champion like you. I will mount your freaky head on a spear. No one rests a Beotian champion. No one! Shorter than I remember. I'm not here to challenge you, Perseus. I need your help. My help must be earned. Out of it, Perseus. We're allies, and I need your help. Go to the gates and protect this place. Let me tell you my plan to catch the monger. 
Let's hear it. I'm ready. Exceptional. I'll distract the prisoners while you head straight to the monger. We can't let him escape. Once you defeat him, take him to the deepest abyss of Tartaros. You'll have to pass through the entrails of Gaia to get there. Entrails of... <sighs> Never mind. Let's go. We planned. We make a good pair. At first I was worried you wouldn't stick to the plan. You haven't been very trusting of me. Can you really blame me? You and the cult destroyed my life. I understand, but tell me you see that I've changed. 
that I'm trying to do good in death where I failed in life. I cannot move on without your acceptance. I suppose you have changed a bit. My dear Eagle Bearer, you have no idea what your forgiveness means to me. Who said anything about forgiveness? I feel as though I can finally move on. Hades, I... we returned the monger to Tartarus for you, just as you asked. I made no such request. But you referred to the monger as a thorn in your side. And you inferred that I wanted him returned. Clearly you still have much to learn, Elpinor. We'll discuss this later at my palace. Still, I'm on my way to eternal peace. Thanks to you. I believe you're forgetting something, brother. Why would you help your enemy find peace? I thought you and Elpinor were working together. Elpinor was merely a means to further along your far more interesting journey. Any chance this means you'll teach me more about the staff now? Patience, Keeper. A few more twists are still to come along your path. I'm looking forward to seeing how it all plays out. You used Elpinor as some sort of trial for me. Close. But the fates wove your path with a defter hand than that. What are you talking about? You'll know soon enough. I need to stay hidden. to the gates if you want me to be a servant. Prove it! Ah! <laughs> 
Achilles, Hades needs you. Go to the gates and guard them with your life. They'll be on high alert here. needs a king, Agamemnon. Go to the gates and protect the people the way you do best. Rise up and be a hero for Hades, and for all the people in the underworld.
Ah, Alexios returns. Victory written across his face. Where's your brother? Not here to settle any bets? It's already been settled. He lost. The gates have their guardians. Haron's lost souls have found peace. Now, tell me what you know about the staff. <laughs> I never promised you that. I promised to fulfill your destiny. Enough games, Hades. I did as you asked. We had a deal. You were never in a position to bargain with me. Your life was mine. The moment you killed Cerberus, I could have had anyone place guardians at those gates. Truth is, I needed you to grow a custom. What are you talking about? Oh, did I not mention? I have a fifth gate. And you're going to spend the rest of eternity protecting it. That is your destiny. I didn't bow to your wife, and I won't bow to you. <laughs> oh, you'll fucking bow. It has to end this way. You would have made an excellent addition to my dead hero collection. Collect this! Forever. Listening to you? I've suffered enough! Don't see what's funny. You act like any of this matters. But you're a prisoner wherever you are.
Malaka! Victoria, what did you do? You guys okay down there? Cut the comms! This has gone way too far. I'm shutting this down. I can handle it. You're not acting like yourself. You're acting like a child. Look at you! Can't you see what the staff is doing? Plugging into Themos's memories. Letting you run rogue in the underworld? It's the bleeding effect. It's hurting you. You need to stop. Give it back, now! No! It's me or the staff! You have to choose! Be some mistake. It... No, no, it was an accident. I, I swear. I don't know what happened to me. I. The air of memories would never do this. Do this? Victoria was my friend. It wasn't me. This won't work. I need time. You think I did this on purpose? It was the staff, Alethea. I'm not a bad person. I don't kill. The air of memories in my vision had foresight. Your reaction was entirely human and inhumane. I fear you'll learn nothing from what I've created for you. I am the heir of memories. I can control the staff. Listen to me. I know I can do it. That is not for you to decide. I decide your worthiness. Though it may be too late for that. Fine. I'll go for a while. Just... Don't let anything happen to her, okay? And don't leave. Please. I'll be back. I'm not going anywhere. <sighs> Damn it. I'm sorry, Victoria. I can't quit now. <laughs> 